Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Tiana here, of course. So today's video is going to be my 2019 empties plus products I regret purchasing. I actually don't have a lot of products I regret purchasing, but you know, I figured I'd throw them in here anyways because I want to be honest with you all and you know, let you know what some of my failed purchases were for the year of 2019. If you guys want to see this video, then please keep watching. So I have this basket of things it's not like a whole lot of stuff in here there's like random clips in here for my backdrop and i want to say that a lot of them are hair products because believe it or not i feel like i didn't really go through a whole lot of makeup this year and if i did i threw it away okay so the first item that i am going to mention is the one that i've just mentioned in my favorites video if you haven't seen that i'll link it down in the description below and i'll have it in the cards this is the OGX Extra Creamy Coconut Miracle Oil Body Wash. And this is an empty bottle. And I believe the one I showed in that video was also empty. A, I think, did I end up getting another bottle? I think I did get another bottle. But pretty much everything that I said in that video is the same thing I'm going to say now. Is I love, love, love this body wash. I have been repurchasing it. I believe this is my third bottle now. But it is really thick. So a little does go a long way. So that way you can lather up. And it does make you feel really soft. As soon as you rinse it off, it smells really good. But it's not like a strong fragrance smell. And what I like about it is that it leaves me very soft, very moisturized. And it doesn't make me itch so I love that I think I'm going to continue to repurchase it so I have noticed that you all or just other people that randomly come to my channel uh, do find me by my hair videos they are some of the most watched videos I think I only have two or three hair related videos here on this channel and I realize that they are the most some of the most watched videos on my channel so I do try to still throw in hair care related information here and there through favorites videos through these types of videos but this product here is the Afigy keratin two minute reconstructor and this is a very very popular product here on youtube and just in general because these products or this is a popular line i should say maybe not this particular product but these products are really really good for those times when you need a little extra protein in your hair but you don't want to you know overload it with protein Afigy does a really good job and I think it's one of the most recommended protein treatments out there like every time I see someone recommend protein treatments for natural hair it's always Afigy and I even use these products on my relaxed hair which was years ago so I love these products. I personally do not use the two-step protein treatment. I choose to use this because Afigy products are heavily concentrated with protein. Um, this is what I usually consider my protein treatment along with other deep conditioners that are specialized for repairing. So they're going to have protein a little higher up on the list as well. So it's just up to you. But I realize that this works well for my hair. I usually do this once a month. I don't overdo it. I leave it on for two to five minutes and it works great. So if you're like me, then you can just use this and get away with it. But if you need more, I definitely recommend getting the two-step protein treatment and trying that out as well. All right, so bouncing back to makeup now. Uh, this next product is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of grimy. Sorry about that. But I really do like this setting spray. I think it's one of the ones that I actually reached for. I realized that I wasn't really reaching for setting spray. So I stopped spending money on like the Urban Decay ones or you know some of the more uh, expensive ones like the MAC one. I just decided to just get a basic drugstore one and I actually reached for this one quite a bit this year. So I don't know exactly if I'll repurchase because to be honest I don't notice that much of a difference when I use it versus when I don't use it. I feel like I still kind of get the same length of wear and overall uh coverage and i find myself using this more in like the hotter months because i feel like it gives me like a nice cool down on my face and it helps the highlight pop a little bit more so i do like this product i probably will repurchase it but i don't think i'm gonna be running to repurchase it right now 
So my next product is a foundation and I think I've expressed that I really did not like this foundation in a past video but this is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition All Day Shine Free Foundation and as you guys can see I pretty much have not touched this foundation since my review video. I think I used it probably all of like maybe two more times after the review that I did on this foundation. I'll have that link down in the description box below so you can see my full thoughts and opinions on it. But I did not, the claims that they were saying that it was supposed to be matte and like it was supposed to last for a long time and just everything like that. I just didn't see it. You guys know in my favorites video I did mention that the concealer that goes with this I think that came out with this. I don't know if it technically goes with this um, but it is really good. I really do like their most recent released concealer but this just did not do it for me I don't know I like the packaging I think it's it's a nice packaging but I don't think this is something that I'm going to be repurchasing okay so the next product I'm going to mention is the L'Oreal blow dry quick dry primer spray it says it cuts dry time and it is a heat protection I did use all of this up which I'm actually surprised because I have some very staple blow dry straightening products that I use now. I think this is a product that I tried out at the beginning of the year and I end up using it all up. It does really really work. <laughs> so I will say that it definitely uh, cuts the dry time in half. Like I noticed that I would just spray on a section and it really did help with the dry time especially for us natural women who have curly hair and you're having to detangle. You're having to you know go over the section over and over and obviously that's going to be more manipulation which could lead to more breakage and pulling of the hair so getting a product like this is crucial when you are blow drying your hair so this is a really good product uh, I would say that this is a good drugstore version of like the Kenra blow drying spray or even the design essentials blow dry primer which is my staple now I prefer that product over this the design essentials one over this because it gives a shine to the hair so it gives you a little bit more moisture and a shine to the hair kind of like a salon finish than this uh, I feel like this just kind of did its job but it didn't add any extra moisture or shine and it doesn't say that it will do that but that's why I kind of like that over this but if you are looking for something that is going to minimize dry time and it is inexpensive then I would recommend this L'Oreal product because it does work it just doesn't work as good as like a salon brand product if that makes sense so I don't think I'll be repurchasing this okay so my next product is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation and I mentioned this in my review of the mattifying foundation that I was pretty much on the last leg of this and as you can see there is pretty much nothing left in this bottle uh, this is the time of year that I would wear this foundation out pretty much all the way up into spring and summer months I would be wearing this foundation uh, this foundation is really good I've actually had it for quite some time I don't remember if I repurchased it or not I cannot remember I don't know if this has been the only bottle that I've had of this I believe it has been uh, and it's lasted for quite a while but of course that's because I do have other foundations I only wear this on in a certain time of year as well so of course that's probably why it's lasted a lot longer than some of my other foundations I feel like this falls in between having tried both the Lancome and the Narcan natural radiant foundation I feel like this falls right in between the two because the Lancome I don't get as oily and it's not I feel like as hydrating as this but then I feel like with the NARS it's very luminous on me personally the NARS is but this is not it's, it's right in the middle of those two so I do really like this foundation I'm kind of stuck right now I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to repurchase it because it's not really something I've been missing if I'm being completely honest like there's just so many like I'm looking at my foundations right now and I have probably about 20 foundations on top of my drawers here and it's just crazy so I've been trying to use and rotate my foundations out 
and I want to get some use out of some of my other foundations but I will let you all know when I do repurchase it. So the next product that I have here is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler and this is really 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 good especially if you have natural hair that tends to get tangled this just a little bit of it and rubbing it on just rubbing it on your palms and putting it on a section will make your detangling process a lot smoother it is infused with raw shea butter which is really nice as we all know that that is a very moisturizing product it really did help me when I was detangling my hair I will say that when I first bought this product I didn't use it as much for detangling as I did for just like adding shine and just overall just ease of manipulating my hair but not necessarily detangling once I started using it for its main purpose that's when I really really fell in love with this product and I ended up repurchasing it so I probably will repurchase it I haven't really been needing a product to detangle at this point because I usually detangle with like my conditioner in the shower with water and conditioner so this is kind of like a good product after you get out of the shower like maybe you want to do a slick back bun or maybe you just you know you kind of let your hair dry a little bit and you want to add something with water this is really good to add with it so the next product is a perfume uh, this is the Victoria's Secret very sexy fragrance mist and I like picking these up just to have they're easy to throw into your bag for traveling they're usually always under three fluid ounces which I think is the amount that you are allowed to have in your carry-on so I like to usually toss one of these in there I like this scent because it's a very dark and warm scent so I didn't always like this wasn't like an everyday daily fragrance that I would use but it's just like a once in a while scent and it lasts me for a long time because again I use these kind of in between my regular nice luxury perfume I like these Victoria's Secret fragrances and this one is very sexy so I'm going to quickly mention these mascaras I'm not going to spend too much time on them I have five here as you can see they mostly are drugstore mascaras because I do prefer drugstore mascaras most of the time because they're just so much like more affordable they pretty much give you the same effect as a high-end mascara so this first one is the Maybelline Fossies volume express mascara in most of these I will repurchase I have already repurchased this one because it's just been a staple in my collection this was one of the very first mascaras that I really really fell in love with I love the wispiness effect that it gives to my lashes so love this mascara this is one of my favorite high-end mascaras and I have repurchased this as well and I probably will continue to repurchase this this is the Stila huge extreme lash mascara this one's really good this I will say does tend to beat out some of my drugstore mascaras only because it gives kind of like all of the effects in one like sometimes you know how you'll have to get a mascara for lengthening or separation one for clumping one for volume and this I feel like does everything in one like I can use it for my top lashes if I want some volume some thickness some length and also for my bottom lashes to give like a nice separation but still adding color and volume to those uh, lashes on my lower lash line as well so love this mascara probably will continue repurchasing this one the next one is the l'oreal voluminous false lashes false fiber lashes waterproof mascara and i think i did end up repurchasing this one but it was by mistake <laughs> because I actually did not have a mascara that day and I went somewhere and this was the only one that I saw that I knew that I kind of really liked and I just picked it up this is not I don't know maybe it was just the waterproof formula but this was really really hard to get off it is one of the nicest packaged mascaras that I've ever seen like I love the structure I love the gold over all of this it's definitely a really nice packaged mascara so as I was saying before my camera cut off I don't think I'll probably be repurchasing this mascara just because of the fact that it was very hard to remove the next one that I actually did repurchase last week is the covergirl peacock flare mascara I really really like this one it definitely reminds me a lot of the Stila big mascara just because it does do a lot and I just really like it so I did repurchase this one and I will continue to use it
And then the last mascara that I have ran out of, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is a repurchase as well. So I did really like this mascara. Uh, I noticed that I do get a lot of volume with this mascara, which is its main purpose. This is one of my favorite mascaras when it comes to just volume at the drugstore. This one's a go-to. My next product is the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer and it's all out. And I'm surprised that I actually have not repurchased this product. I think it's probably because I have not been using primer on a daily basis recently. It's kind of become like the setting spray to me. Uh, I feel like with foundation, concealer, and setting powder, I haven't really noticed where the primer is really doing much, especially in the cooler months. Now, in the warmer months, uh, I feel like, okay, yeah, if I apply a mattifying primer, I really want to uh, make sure my skin is matte before I even apply my foundation in, in an effort to do that. But recently, I just have not been reaching for primer. So I, this was one of my favorite, favorite primers at the drugstore. I feel like it really reminds me a lot of the Smashbox primers. And it does. It has that same consistency. I feel like most of the primers that I was using weren't making that much of a difference. And it was just me applying all over face powder, setting my concealer with powder and all of that. That was really making the longevity of my foundation last. I don't know I definitely think I'll probably repurchase this again in the future because I know it is a staple at the drugstore but not right now okay so the last empty that I have to mention is this NYX can't stop won't stop matte primer this primer I will say definitely will make you 100% matte uh, it reminds me a lot of the Becca priming perfector I believe is what that one was called but for some reason, I do not know why, this primer got really, really, really hard on the inside of the tube here and it would not squeeze out. Probably after two uses, two or three uses, it stopped squeezing out. Like it seemed like it may have gotten clogged. So I was taking like pins, everything, trying to unclog it, but that wasn't the issue. It's just like it swelled up on the inside and it would not condense itself down small enough to come through this tiny little hole the end here so what i did was i cut a hole on the other side over here and that worked for probably two more uses and then it ended up getting really hard if you guys can see that like it's literally chiclets coming out like look at that like it's ridiculous like what is this <laughs> and so i'm not exactly sure what happened with this i don't know if it's a certain ingredient inside of that primer that is causing it to harden uh but to me that was kind of alarming and i didn't necessarily want to use it or want to repurchase it after that because it was just so hard to get out of the container as it was and then it just completely hardened now i don't know if the hardening kind of sped up when I cut this open, but I will say that I've left the cap off of this before. I've left the cap off of my other primers that are over there and I've never experienced any like intense hardening and crumbling on the inside of this. And it was just really weird. I feel like it had already hardened before I had even cut this side out. I feel like this part had already kind of hardened, which is why it wasn't squeezing out. So I'm not exactly sure what happened with this primer but the uses that i did get out of it i really did like it my only gripe was that it was too matte to go along with the foundation which is really matte as well you guys know i've said in the past that that foundation is one of my dry most drying drugstore foundations that i own and i feel like this was like really really drying as well so if you try to pair the two together you are going to be dry <laughs> that would be the only thing i would say about the combination of the two but using this with maybe a more luminous foundation that you want to last for a little bit longer probably would work i don't think i'm going to repurchase because it was just too much of a hassle i don't want to take the risk again that i will have to be trying to really squeeze it out i like products that are super convenient so i lied. my last product is this nyx butter gloss in the shade praline you guys know that i 
love these butter glosses i think they're really convenient they're really nice for travel they are just really good to just have in your purse on an everyday basis and i don't want to use my fancy gloss i always reach for one of these they're very inexpensive i want to say they're like four to five dollars and they come in a lot of shades okay guys so that finally brings this empties video to a close this is taking me a long time to film because my battery has kept dying my card became full so i just had to keep getting up and doing stuff and coming back for 10 minutes and all of that but of course you don't notice any of that which is the beauty of editing so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today I can't believe I collected all of these empties I probably have collected even more because I threw out a lot of stuff if you guys did like this video please give it a thumbs up so I know that you did and also please subscribe if you're not I would love to see you back for another video and hit the notification bell so you do know when I upload my next video As as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye